Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at installing and setting up uh, Visual Studio 2022. Visual Studio is an amazing IDE to do coding in Visual Basic, C Sharp, F Sharp. A number of languages and frameworks are supported in this IDE. Um, we're going to look at some of the templates as well and run a basic program in the console um, to show that it is installed successfully. So let's have a look. So open any browser and just type Visual Studio. Which is, well, so I'm going to look for Visual Studio. Right, as you can see, a number of options uh, appear here on Google. I will go for the first one. As a bit of information about GitHub and uh, Visual Studio, you can embed GitHub in Visual Studio to uh, update your version of your code. But this is a bit of in nice intelligence uh, in Visual Studio, which shows if you are missing something or if you did not use something or maybe if something is not recognized. The intelligence in, the, uh, in this IDE is just amazing. Right, let's go to download. We will look at some of the features in detail in another video. So in this video, just look at downloading and installing Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. Um, if you need professional enterprise, go for it, but I think they will charge you some money for that. Community Edition is free. There's a bit of information in some videos how to set up, how to use them. Uh, so please do read these links, quite helpful. So I'm going to look at the downloaded file here, which is here, this one. So let's double click on this. Uh, it will need your uh, admin permission to install Visual Studio on your machine. So let's continue that. This is a very important step. If you just click on install and you go and install it, after that you will not be able to see the templates um, or um, the option that you're looking for. Like it will not have any option like for console programming or MVC or .NET Core. So you have to select what you, what you want to install in Visual Studio. Like I'm looking for this option because I need to do some coding in console, in ASP.NET Core, and MVC. So HTML, JavaScript, all these razors are supported in this, uh, this, this option. As you can see here, if you need to pick more options here, you can choose as well. But I'll be fine with the default. And if you in, uh, add more packages like these, um, Azure development or Python development or any other option, uh, you can select. So. Anyhow, I just need this option. So here, be very careful, please, what you need to install here. Whatever you need, just pick them. But the more you pick, it's going to take a lot of space on your computer, as you can see. Just for this, is 7.77 GB. So I just need this. And I said download all, then install. That's one option. Second option is install while downloading. So I will go for it. And as you can see, 7.77 GB will take quite a while to download and install it. So it will take a few minutes to complete this installation setup. So I'm going to pause for a couple of minutes, um, and then I'll come back once the downloading is nearly finished. Right, it looks like installation is done. Uh, it's asking me to sign in. You need any Microsoft account to log in to use uh, this uh, IDE. But I'm going to skip it for now. The next step is asking me uh, which color theme you prefer. Dark, blue, light, or blue extra control. Whatever your choice is, I will just prefer the blue one. And start Visual Studio. So Visual Studio is installed now. So once you type Visual Studio in your start, you will see that is already installed here. So you're going to click on this. Right, so these are the options that we have now. Once installation is complete, we can link a repository here. We can open the existing projects, or we can create a new project here. So let's click on this Create New Project. 
Right. It has console application, ASP.NET Core, Blazor, and quite a lot of options here, ASP.NET Core, MT, MVC framework. <clears throat> That's a, one of the popular design framework. Angular, React, all these supported frameworks and libraries are available here. Um, now, whatever you need, just type that here. For example, I'm just searching for .NET. So welcome to C Sharp. It's just to hold uh, while I'm reading it. So it will hold the screen until I press any key, then that will disappear. I could write console.read key as well, but it's okay for now, key or that line, because key will just expect one character line more. That's a different thing, which I will explain in another video. So console.write line is used to print something on the screen, and console.read line is used to take input from the user. So this will, for now, just hold my screen to read what is printed. So let's click on Start. Right, you see, welcome to C-Sharp Programming. So this is all for now. We installed Visual Studio from Microsoft website, and we selected the files that we need, uh, which can allow us to run console applications and ASP.NET related projects. So that's all for now. We'll continue with more C-sharp programming in the next video. Thank you for watching.